Women have always been subjugated. I like to bake. Have In the kitchen! I'm not Wait. saying we don't need men. Ew. Women don't need men. Dinosaurs? Now that makes so mad. What the fuck did you just say? Bye, thank you for your time. Do not put my fucking face, otherwise I will sue. Hey guys, welcome back. Can you believe it? Number 14, our podcast is now to the age where it can sexually explore itself Ooh. in ways that are mischievous, ways that are disgusting. Every man knows that the age of 14 is a time of discovery. And today, what we're going to be discovering is the nature of dating itself. Now that our podcast has reached maturity, I feel like it's time to have the talk. You know, you have a kid, right? You do, you hump, the kid pops out, then the kid grows up, then you got to tell the kid how to hump so that he can hump, and then another kid falls out, and then before you know it, or you she. have a whole coat of arms of family. You know how it is. So today we're going to talk about dating, all kinds of stuff. Um, this seems to be the only thing that I see on fucking, on TikTok, dude. Mm. All the time. TikTok. Mm -hmm. It's just dating episodes of like men and women being on like whole like different sides of not understanding each other. It's like you would think all this time together we would be able to understand each other now. But I don't know. Let's start it off. What do you think is the biggest the biggest thing that kind of stops communication between men and women, even after all these years right now, what's the thing that you have? Go ahead and complain. You know, let's, let's, let's hear, let's hear what you got to say about traditional relationships. Well, Andres, I got to say there are pillars and that is not my idea. I am quoting someone's the idea. pillars of love. Mm, well, Pillars of, I mean, it's still like a hierarchical kind of idea. <laughs> Do you consider yourself more of a modern dater than a, like, traditional dater? Yes. I would say modern dating, and that was something that I realized actually pretty recently. Um, polyamory. You found yourself. I found my fucking self. <laughs> and others, as you know. A couple a couple, yes. <clears throat> you know, because I like to I like to call poly like polygamous relationships as like the non-binary of relationships because it's a lot of they's, a lot of them's. There's a lot of everything's and a lot of things. I, I this is like it's funny because I've seen like pol like polygamy come back up, and you think like oh this is a new idea, but it's not. Like, if no. you really look back, like, polygamy has been, like, a huge thing over the ages, right? Like In most societies, yeah. polygamy has Actually, been Actually, prior even to Euro-Christendom, I would argue it's been present for many... It's just been hiding. Many lineages. It's been it's, hiding. Uh, you know what I mean? It's kind of the thing. <laughs> You can't. You can't hiding. share. You can't share Christ's blood. Are you kidding me? There was no Which in the forties. Where were all the polygamous people? In other countries. In other countries. Yeah, just not <laughs> here in the United States. No, no, no. I mean, well, in the United States, I mean, <clears throat> I think the term you're looking for is the Mormons. The Mormons. And which my family does not. So it's usually people in very secluded societies yeah. in. The middle of nowhere, Utah, or the middle of nowhere, yada yada. It's like Salt Lake I mean, City. yeah. It's it's very interesting because that's usually when you get like sister wives and stuff like that. You know, like TLC show or what? Was it TLC? I don't know. They're all TLC. It, I can understand certain parts of polygamy, but like, there's different kinds that I've noticed. There's like the I feel like the traditional version of polygamy is so funny. It's still polygamy, but it's the guy that ends up having, like, all of the wives. But the wives can't date, right? And, you know, recently, I think I saw there was this... Uh, dude, TikTok brings everything to you. It's amazing. It's truly... You know, please don't ban it, because I wouldn't be able to see these wild-ass videos. But, like, you got... Now you have 
uh, there are groups of people who are polygamous, but like only the girl dates, but all the guys are monogamous to the girl, but the guys don't date. That's because there's more women than there are men. So we're back. Uh, so one of the reasons why I wanted to bring because she uh, is in a polygamous relationship, which is an interesting and uh, you know kind of different view. Because uh, my friend Bay here, also co-host, uh, personality of the show, is more of a kind of more traditional way. So we kind of want to get all of the perspectives in there from there. But you told me that you felt you felt like you found yourself. Yeah. Um, what was that awakening for you? Like, well, I've been through a couple monogamous relationships where, shame on me, but perhaps I haven't been so faithful. And you I, was you was on the streets. Well, not on the streets. Okay, you was in the yard. You <laughs> you was on the sidewalk. Like you're not on the streets, but you're just on the sidewalk. We could say that. <laughs> we could say that. I would argue it was more so um, was I've always been pretty adventurous. Mm -hmm. I've always been relatively more chaotic, we could even say. Uh, and... She's perfect for this show, dude. This is, <laughs> this is the most chaotic show ever. This is <laughs> it is. It's just pretty chaotic. I know, right? All right, yeah, yeah continue on. So yeah, I, from what I understand, it's like you were chaotic. You're kind of more of a free spirit, and you didn't fit well within those like parameters and those no. rules no. of a monogamous um, I actually find it really – I think there is an issue with this idea of monogamy especially in human relationships um as a biologist i see our brains are rather large and we really love to categorize many different aspects i think uh -huh. that's one of the reasons why humans are so smart though we do love to categorize that's how we like but let's not let's stuff. not put humans at a pedestal because jesus we are not perfect well jesus was that can be <laughs> Get her off of here! <laughs> what the? F <laughs> Who brought She's her? She's a witch. Wait, God I damn got it. a question. Yeah, go because, for it. Because okay, so if you think that there's a problem with monogamy, then I also want to know your opinion on how do you view the declining birth rate in several different countries because. At this rate, people are not choosing to marry. They're not choosing to breed. They are not choosing... You're realizing... You're asking a biologist this, right? What countries are you specifying? I mean, Japan, Japan. I believe, is the lowest birth rate of them all right now. I also believe it's that... It's the same it's in the United Korea. States, too. The birth rate is down. In now, most places, the birth rate is down. It's several different we can't, countries. We, I can't speak on Korea. God forbid. I mean, nothing really comes out of there, right? <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, well, division comes out of there, is what comes out of there. A uh, clean, straight line across. Very different lives for everyone. <laughs> But, no, it's true. The birth rate has been declining since, I believe, the 80s. I'm not entirely sure uh, about that. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, on the question, yeah, how long, like, is the birth rate declining in the United States? So, from what I understand is that, like, a lot less traditional. Because, look, there's one thing that we do have to admit, and that traditional relationships be producing all of the children i mean all of the children when you see when you see one of those giant ass vans where the entire part of like of the van like swipes back and you see like there's like three layers and all the kids comes out they're almost always mexican mormon or catholic what i will say okay i can speak on the catholicism part I my family <laughs> my family is Catholic, and my grandfather had 12 siblings that came over. Yeah. Um, well, 
his grandfather and like 14 others and then they had 12 children and okay so the the u.s birth rate dropped hold that uh, the U.S. bird day dropped 4% in 2020. was already at a record low between... I'm, yeah, but like COVID-19, that's a hard one. The total fertil- fertility rate, which is the population statistic that s- simulates the average number of children f- females in a birth cohort will have. Cohort? <laughs> if they, they go through life in a current age, specific birth rates. Cohort is going to be a courtship kind of relationship in animal behavior. Okay. So, so, but I think you can draw. But humans a, take quite a long time to fucking like get it on, right? Or like the idea of like wooing the woman. Say that to every woman in Jackson's in fucking downtown Denver. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody watching Jesus. this podcast and gently. Like, <laughs> what, what do you have against people that go to Jackson's on a Wednesday? That's night? where you go get the. That's where the hottest girls go. If you want to go get laid, that is true. By a hot girl, you go to Jackson's in hot. You go to in, Jackson's in downtown in hot down Denver. <laughs> downtown Denver. Downtown. Sounds like an ad. <laughs> All the hot bitches. <laughs> It, it's true though like when you would get like dressed up and you'd be like with like four other girls and you're like okay we all look good yeah. where are we going to get our drinks bought for us jackson's and then you'd usually find all of like the finance guys there so it's like where the guys with money are so like... <laughs> <laughs> but let's think about this honestly like courtship behavior <laughs> <laughs> Swiping the card. <laughs> At least in Dude, America, we're, we're what I can speak to is the courtship behavior is not a cheap deal. Dating in America is not a cheap so deal. Weird. And it's Living not in a very, like, compared to other organisms, there are organisms that can reproduce asexually, yeah. let alone. True. Jellyfish. Weird. Eels? Uh, Nigeria. Yeah, but that was one of the arguments. Yeah, but also... That's one of the... They're almost extinct, so how well is that working out for them? (laughs) (laughs) Like, we barely just figured it out. Yeah, that's true. problem is that? All these extinct animals are supposed to feel bad for, like, (laughs) like, bruh, you lost. You, you, like, when you start a game and all your teammates die, (laughs) team is done, dude. Okay. just take the L. Listen, (laughs) though. Fucking dinosaurs, fucking... (laughs) You let a little flood? Yeah. Oh, some water, dude? You guys are dinosaurs. Now, Dre. You deserve to die. Dre. Dre. Listen to this. Humans, however. Yes. Have only man made their weapons. Whereas animals, we are not actually that sophisticated. Let's be that honest. Like, That's we, true. We don't we, got the weapons. It, could you imagine? Humans without weapons, Yeah, hydrogen though? bombs are a myth. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude, I'm all, not saying that, but I'm all, saying, all could horse... you imagine them without fucking weapons? Like, we have hands, dude, cool, we would just but be we like... have no claws. <laughs> <laughs> and they would I just mean... be, like, the biggest guy fucking everyone's wife. You're just sitting here, wife, like, dude, a week ago, you were working as, like, a receptionist. Are you talking about Joseph Smith from the Mormon community right oh, now? Oh, God, dude. Speaking of 14, <laughs> starting a religion. <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. My last Dumb. one is... Let's, oh, let's be careful. Yeah. Let's be careful. <laughs> come last, on. Come on. Last... Oh. Are you Mormon? Not that I know of. Okay. Keep uh, it that way. <laughs> when you told me you were a polygamist, I didn't think it was this kind of polygamy. You know, I wasn't aware of that either. Uh, a little ditzy. Um, My master is outside. <laughs> Actually, I'm the master. Oh, we Thank killed you very Bailey. Much. We killed Bailey. Hey, you went down, dude. <laughs> Dre, I would argue that I'm the master, though. That's true. 
Also, you hear her calling me Dre. People used to call me Dre. And now I never hear it again, which makes this podcast make so much more sense. Okay. I need we, we need to get like a like a sign that just says Dre. No, it needs to be a street sign. A street yeah. This okay, is like right. Dre Boulevard. Dre, Ru- Bo- Dre Boulevard. I'll I keep walk my eye down out. the boat dreams. Uh <laughs> We okay. did do karaoke in this basement, and it was a fire. It was a fire. Was it? Oh yeah, no, it was great. We got every single person in the room, including my boyfriend and some yeah, shy girl that I've never met sign. before, to all get on the mic. Every single person in the room did it. It was awesome. Yeah, we can get okay, we can get I custom love signs, and I'd love to be a part of that at some point. Speaking, we'll do it again. Soon, yeah, soon. Speaking of karaoke, of a bunch of people as a group grasping one phallic thing, polygamy. We're back at it again. Polygamy, Why do back we at worship the penis, though? We because don't. Who? Do, who? Uh, Dre you does. You should worship the penis. No. Uh, 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 I worship a I penis, that, and that is honey. my boyfriend's penis, and no other okay, penis. Okay. What about the penis that created the internet that allows you to go into your phone? Or what about the penis that created your phone? Or what about the penis that created all? And of what the... are those names? Tell Steve me. Jobs. No. <laughs> every successful Come on, man Hawking? ever. It's Who just called Brian. About? It's just Brian or Steve or some other Michael like of those things. Jordan. Yeah, ah. let's look up. <laughs> let's look up uh, who created the internet. Who invented who invented the internet? The entirety. Is this gonna be a gender war? Is that what Bob we're putting Ken. on this? Bob can invent the internet. No, yes, we he can't, can. We can't have a gender war. Bob, Bob the Builder. Huh. Okay, the internet. <laughs> American computer science. To do, yeah, Bob. Dude, Bob. That's what I'm saying. They're all Brian's and Steve's. Bob made the internet. You missed it. Bob made the internet. <laughs> Invent- oh, thank you, Bob. Robert, whatever you go by. Who invented the iPhone? Steve Jobs. Thank you. Are you a fucking idiot? Come on. We know the name. Steve Jobs did not invent Who the invented iPhone. invented electricity? Who? The light bulb, baby. Yeah. Do we, do we Steve Jobs that? did none of the, like, actual, like, inventing. I all, believe that. He was a big guy. He was he all was he was. He was a great visionary. He was just a guy that looked great in a turtleneck. That's all you need. You know, I look You just really... need a tall, wait, white wait, guy. Wait. You need a tall, white girl that looks really... Or... No, or else you need gonna... a tall girl that looks really great in a turtleneck. Wait, okay, that's no, actually... hard to do though yeah, because sure. like you yeah, so? because you have to be skinny with big tits or else it doesn't work. I have really. Yeah, I will skinny. say yeah. I'm skinny. Or else... I will say I'm skinny, but my tits are very small. I don't have amaranth tits. I thought that was going to have some kind of... When I was skinny, I had no tits, and now I'm not skinny, and now I have tits, and I still, I've never really, there was, I think there was about three months of my life where I looked really good in a turtle. But, no, that's a serious question, because, Bay, you're like, uh, how tall are you again? I'm 5'9". You're 5'9". That's like above the average for women. It's almost three inches above average, yes. So does that make dating harder for you? Like, do you think... Incredibly. Do you think that you would have had a better time at like an earlier date where traditional like relationships were more of a common thing than you would now? Of course. I mean, it would have been very customary for me to assume the fact that I would every woman back in what the 50s, the 60s, they yeah. were all wearing at least kitten heels. So you're telling me that I would have to be 5'11 walking around with You'd a 5'8 six foot. man. Yeah. Yes, I'm I'm 6'2 in my shortest heels. If I'm 6'1 and a half if in my shortest If you didn't know, heels. there's inflation going around, so that means I'm 6'3. <laughs> I think that I think that's what that's You might a, be flattering uh, yourself a little bit. <laughs> I'm 6'4. If think you wear those Korean inserts in your shoe, then yeah, you would be. Just like look like that, like yeah. like you Tom Brady. your calves would look amazing. But that brings in a a big question. Do you need a man who is tall, Bay first? Yes. Why? Where do you think that comes from? I'm 5'9", and I don't want to feel like the easiest way I've ever been able to explain it where people understand is that I'm 5'9", and if I'm walking down a dark 
sidewalk at night with my boyfriend, I don't want to feel like I'm the person who's going to have to fight off the mugger. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that if you were dating a 5'7 guy, like you would be the first one to be like, all right, babe, Whew. I better get my clit sucked tonight. And then you go off and you fight the guy like. That's my goal. Is it not? Is it not I mean, that is gender equality in a certain extent. I don't care, but I want a man to, to fight you. for me and protect me. I he don't want to fucking fight. Yeah. No. I am not going to be down an alley with a man and fight for my own life when he can do it if he's bigger than me. Like, dude, my 6'9 my boyfriend, he could fuck anybody up, okay? Oh, you have a gun? <laughs> That's fun. Boom. I can kick six feet in the air. That's okay. cool. He's six nine, so he can punch downwards. I'm from down, he's from up. I love this how is... like like tactical <laughs> you're thinking. You're just like, like oh. yeah. he has the advantage. He has the advantage in case things go down. But that okay, that begs the question. Do you think that this is a kind of an older way of thinking that like men were meant to be here to kind of protect a woman? A bit archaic, wouldn't you say? I would say. But you already you already worded that for me. You I don't said, know. Do you think that's an old way of thinking? I'm saying archaic. I think it's extremely. I think it Archaic's actually a strong sounds word it. too, because that means like, you know, like our version, like the fucking monkey versions of like humans and stuff. But I do not feel that innate need to be protected by a man. Is that something that you? Uh, I don't. I'm not protected by any man. I didn't ask you if you were protected by any man. I'm saying, do you ever have that desire? Do, no. do you Do you see the, the like the pull to it? Because that seems to be. I can I can recognize where because there's variation. Yeah. In many different communities, and where they might need that, or where they might want that. Different people have different things. There are there are reasons we like different things. We all have our own kind of way of thinking. I would argue more so obviously the United States definitely gears more monogamous. I think most countries gear it. Look up if there's like if there are countries that are majority polygamy. I'm speaking on the United Maybe States Utah. because I know the United States. I haven't been to some countries. That's true. So I'm speaking on what I know. What percentage of people do you think are more in terms of like modern dating than like... You want me to put a percentage on it? That's too... Well, I think like 8% of are the we population is gay speaking? now. That is 8%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 8% of the population is gay now. So, I mean, I'd say that probably at least a third of that is probably experiencing some form of polyamory. One third of Americans say that their ideal relationship is non-monogamous. Dude, that <laughs> sounds like such a fake-ass study. Oh, my God. If that's real, though, that's wild. Who wrote uh, if it? it? If it is what's for millennials. Wrong wrong? Like, so, what's wrong with polygamy, though? Millennials are less likely to want a monogamous relationship. Well, that makes sense for, for millennials. Well, one third As of marriages end in divorce, right? Well, one in every three. let's also think about. I the, think it's half. We need to also half, think yeah. about the intersectionality of multiple aspects. One, it's very expensive to live two by two, right? Great, we're being priced or out of monogamy. Two by two is not the right thing, but two plus two. One plus one, there we go, the math, right? Um, we should have government subsidized polyamory. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's just like, so you're a girl and you're a they them and you're going to stay together. But then we're going to have Joe come in and he's kind of your maybe thing. <laughs> he lives in the attic. Yeah, instead of getting food stamps, you just get... <laughs> You just get, like, a polygamous relationship. And guess what? You have to live in the suburbs, like, outside of the city, so you don't need... You can't. True. You have to get a car, and you can't even, like, use public yeah. transport because that's how the government works. 
But okay, you so you also have to buy a fucking house in this that economy. That is true. It is very expensive. Where the fuck do we live? live? Let's just start a commune. Well, you know what's going. Ha- what's happening is people are moving back in with their families. More than in the Great Depression. Yeah. There is more people, and you can even Google this, Jeremiah, but it is, there is more people in this day and age that are under the age, I think it was either 30 or 35, that are living with their families now than there was in the Great Depression. And people are trying to say that we are not in an economic crisis and that we are not in a recession, let alone a depression, when the the numbers don't add up, do they? The only people that are pretending that we're not in a recession are fucking people who Boomers. are like... <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 not Boomer. boomers. Actually, boomers. I would say it's it. No, do dude, it's all political? Gen Z, dude. Gen, because Gen Z doesn't no know any different. They're just like, of course, gas is three dollars. Be like, dude, you're four. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you don't know anything but Trump and Biden. Imagine being th- that generation. Technically, I am Gen Z. Gen Z stops around 1997, from what I understand. I was born in 98, and I'm the... So you guys, are we technically all Gen Z? You're I'm, like, Gen at the Z. very end of it, yeah. I think you're the last year that Gen Z is, like... Because so. I'm 98, and I'm Gen Z, and you're 96? I'm 97. 97. I think that you're the last one. I'm See, also <coughs> the generational gap, I would art. My sister is 10 years older than I am. I'm 98. Oh, wow. That's for example, actually... But, oh, it's a big, it's a big difference. I have an eight-year-old, like, oh, not an eight-year-old sister. I have a sister who's eight years older than me. My sister's nine years younger than me. <coughs> wow. So we so all she's were. she's 15 right now. But... Someone's a mistake in this room right now. <laughs> Rome fell in like 67 days. <laughs> It was oh, like 90, only, actually, but... I don't know. Only in Rome, thing? except for those 67 <laughs> days that it took to build it. <laughs> when in Rome? After they built it. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> dumb. After. That was such a dumb time. Procrastinate. That Honestly, dumb. procrastinate as hard as you can. I know, right? That was right. Really Jesus little, oh Christ. Now okay. that we have... Uh, more alcohol in this system when we're free flowing. I think we got to bring it into question. This is something I keep, I keep seeing this over and over again, body count. This is one thing that seems to be the biggest thing. It seems like most women want a man with a higher women? body count. Women, the female species, uh, uh, infeminate, uh, infeminate people, uh, people, birthing people. Women. Uh, women. The yes. woman counterpart. The woman. Male. Ca- <laughs> Female. <laughs> exactly. Seems to be that a lot of women want men with higher body counts because that then includes a lot of experience. But the other way around, men, we usually don't want women with high body counts. So, what are you guys' thoughts on that? Um, so, personally, I feel like from like a traditional standpoint, it <clears throat> makes a bit of sense that a man would not want. Um, a woman with a high body count per se. However, I do think it's quite immature to call it a body count because as long as a person is responsible and doesn't have STDs, I really don't see the need to impose that kind of, honestly, it's an anxiety. Like, could you imagine getting into a serious relationship with somebody and somebody actually judging you? upon that you had a boyfriend before them and at the same time i do understand but back in ancient times when we were cave people if you were pregnant you were actually more viable as a as a wife or a cave mate to these primitive species because you were fertile so if you're having multiple partners that shouldn't actually be a question in your marryability or your partner ability or whatever kind of relationship you're trying to have with somebody because honestly our animal instincts we need to be with somebody at some time and e- like either person at any given time is going to want to spread their seed per se so would you date a guy with like really high or would you date somebody with a really really high How like high body is count high? 500 500 That's how a- old is this man 
<laughs> that's <laughs> early 30s. Is he 50? Um, I mean, that's like what, like five people a month for like seven years? It's a lot of people. <laughs> it's what it is. That's a lot of people. If you had a, a person come up to you, you like them. You're like, hey, just letting you know, I've slept with a lot of people. Why would they say that to me? Well, it's just like they're... Hey, they're little girl, them. what's your name? Can it's I have your phone name, number? I've right? slept Don't with a know? lot of people. <laughs> that comes to... Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that, comes to uh, that comes to men. But like, I, uh, you're, you're straight. I'm very straight. You're very straight. Yeah. You're very, very straight. What's your sexual orientation? I would consider myself, in the past, I have identified as bisexual. Currently, I would say I'm pansexual. So, as somebody who would date both genders, would you rather, like... Would, it's would not you, a gender binary. Would you have, <laughs> would you have a uh, different, like, parameters for each person, or are you going across the board? Uh, like, do you want different things from? So masculine? I will tell you right now, my body count is seventy five. I think straight around up. there. Straight up, I had had a list, and I stopped counting at fifty. And so, I am my own person. My partner has had their people. I also am not xenophobic, and so when if there are any other use the wrong word there <laughs> do not fucking use that the Jesus jews are fuck. like what did i do <laughs> 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 was italian but you almost got it <laughs> xenophobic is against jews right no no, no it's against like well people. anyone that's not just like traditionally white so even if you are considered ashkenazi like jewish people from other right countries. that would be not traditionally white even though that's so stupid dislike up. Me say you're that. like i like both genders Wrong word. but first of all i'm Hemo. not racist Hemo. <laughs> Hemo. i hate everybody equally <laughs> um i personally identify as pansexual uh he and hemophobia even do you have um, a preference is there something that you specifically go more towards no no i uh, honestly i uh like who i like and yeah so hemophobia <laughs> in the relation with hiv and diseases it's taking a whole different road etc etc i honestly am not R.I.P. Freddie Mercury. Okay. <laughs> Dude. <it's t> <laughs> what? I shouldn't laugh at things. You know the fuck that was fucked up. I said a good thing. Why is that? Well, funny? okay. True. True. Just, <laughs> sorry. No. My no. Timing. You can't. We can't, we can't be like researching crack and you're just like rip black people. <laughs> I said a good thing. Like you <laughs> Rip Keep that in the pod. Rip. Keep that in the pod. Or, you know what? It's okay, he's gonna be in. That's true. I get more say. The you liberals don't decided. look like it. You just look like you have long hair and a shitty beard. I look I look like I've been uh I've been uh, I haven't sprouted as a bean yet. Jesus? Is that you? We are doing a Jesus episode <laughs> soon, honestly. But yeah, okay. But oh like, my okay. Gosh, we are. We're all but, gonna dress up as nuns, and he's gonna dress up as Jesus. I'm gonna dominate him, though. So you guys With think like that it's other Jesuses? So you guys think that it's immature for men to judge women based off of how many people they've slept with a yes. woman wouldn't do that to a man. So I think that I don't know. Honestly, like if a man is gonna be like. If a man is going to take his masculinity based off of how many girls he can pull, then that's not actually masculinity, is it? But don't you think that men, like, th we want something different than what generally women want? No. And <clears throat> I honestly... Do you think it's the same? No, you think a woman wants fucking sex. She wants to be fucked from behind. She wants to feel like a cow with udders. She wants... Yeah. To look. Yeah. 
She wants. Yeah, but it depends. No, okay. She doesn't. No, you can't I stop can't. her between oh, that, no. dude. You gotta oh, let no. her finish that. That you can't. You can't finish. Let her cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let her cook. <laughs> Keep the udders go. What the fuck did you just say? Let her cook. You've never heard that. No, I, I've you, fucking heard it. We normally hear it. I mean, it's like, I've let heard her warm it. Up. She's getting I'm just there. getting she's fucking going. mad. She's going. Yeah. Do you want to make my eyes turn red? You know what? That's funny. Because we you, we normally hear that as let him cook. We had no problem with that. Men had no problem with that. No, I never hear that. Are you fucking kidding me? I've seen let him cook more than I've seen let her cook. True. No, I'm saying let him cook because cook. women have In always... In the kitchen! Listen, women <laughs> have always been subjugated to being, I'm a housewife, I'm a cook. You know what? I'm fucking pre-med. I like to bake. I'm gonna be a fucking. <laughs> you go fuck yourself. Roasted. Like my mom. Hey, my mom owns dead. a bakery. My mom owns a bakery. I love to okay, bake. Okay, teach their own. Let them do what they want, <clears throat> but do not put. I can handle STEM, just like any other man could. Right, but if I don't want to handle STEM, then that's okay too. But then why are men being paid less in the workforce? No, but actually, where I can't have a family of four. Where is that four. statistic? No, <laughs> because women joined the workforce, men are being paid less on average per inflation by each year. Okay, can and you honestly, can you restate this? Please? And also, I, I it doesn't even matter because even if that fact was incorrect. If I were to have a child with a hey, man Jeremy? and I had a full-time job and he had a full-time job and I wanted to have a have a baby, if I were to put that baby in child care... Then you're I, in a polyamorous relationship. Have someone else take care of it. It's fine. Right, okay, so I'm going to pay that person three quarters No, you don't have to pay them anything. You're income. with them. You're dating them. What if we both have full-time jobs? No, that well, you're in a polyamorous most, relationship. There's probably 50. People Come on. In, most people <laughs> who have a baby, most anybody who has a baby, most people have to both work. And that's so, true. That and is, if that is the case, then there needs to be some kind of there needs to be some kind of stipulation polyamory. to where people polyamory. are going to be paid more so somebody can stay home with the baby. Polyamory. Let's, let's fix the babies with communes. Just pass let, the baby around. Just, 30, no, 30 people every no, day. Honestly, it takes a honestly, to raise though, a child doesn't apply does to that. Does that sound that though. bad? I mean, the, the Celtics did that. Are we... Okay, but we also don't have herds of sheep and we're living, you know, paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, because we're living in fucking capitalism. Are you, are you okay, kidding me? Okay, are you ready to slaughter we don't your have own to live animals in this situation. and raise your own, like, gardens? Like, that's the problem. Is it like, yeah, it would be lovely if we could have our own communes and have our own everybody, everything. But when John's house burns down, John's on his own. We, no one is coming from down the neighborhood to come gotta, rebuild John's house. You just gotta I keep bartering. Love thy neighbor. I... What the fuck did Jesus say? Here, wait. Wait, hold on. Love <laughs> thy neighbor. Isn't that the fucking saying that all of us Euro Christians want to use? <laughs> I'm getting sounds of 5G ringing through my ear. Go <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. And Biden? Is that Biden? you? <laughs> Biden's just coming I down. Hate both of you. <laughs> No, but look, here's the thing is I think that there's a place for both a traditional place and also a modern place. <laughs> yes, I'm somewhere and I'm, not, I'm, I'm actually I'm... somewhere in the middle. But I do think that you can I think it, you should be able to uh judge someone based off of their past because their past gives a pretty good idea of what they're most likely to do Humans in the future. Humans being too smart. And men generally Humans being too smart. Men generally Humans look being for too smart women who are a lot more innocent because one it's a lot easier for a woman to get laid it is it's way a lot easier, easier to subjugate a woman, a woman based on her fucking preferences based on it's a lot easier to subjugate a woman and to use why her. because women are weaker that's what you said i didn't say that but then why did so many women or why did so many women in the great depression and also what i was doing not too long ago, date for dinner. Because if men are so concerned. No, that's actually something you guys might agree on. If that... me, okay, so this is what I, I did a few years ago. I was very, very sick and I was very poor. Oh, I wasn't. And I went on a plethora 
And I mean a plethora of Sorry. dates. I'm talking quite a few dates um, just to get meals every week. And it's not like I was... Like sleeping with these people or anything. I have an answer I would just for you. Go get some dinner. Go get some tacos. I'd be like, "Do you want to meet for brunch on Sunday?" And like, the only thing I could do was walk out of my house, get in an Uber, and go sit in a chair. And, and what eat. you did happens to men all over the place now, because it seems that like, especially when it comes to online dating, because you could just swipe through, swipe through, and all these women, you guys can find like five dates a night if you really wanted to, but men just can't do Fact that. Fact check. So I think that ends up creating Fact like check. a huge division between Jeremy. Them. Well, it's because guys What's are more the ratio? likely guys are more likely to swipe on girls than girls are to guys because girls have way more standards. Did you have know? Have you ever heard the have you ever the heard egg the is phrase, bigger than the sperm? Have you ever heard the phrase that guys will fuck anything that walks, anything with stuffing in it? Seventy six percent of women and eleven point two eight percent of men and thirty four percent of no, just twenty eight percent of men, thirty eight percent of meat matches in person at least. Yeah, but 76, I think it's like most women swipe right on the top 20% of men. Right, but now it sounds like that most women what choose to actually meet their matches more than men. And yeah. that's what I was just saying is that more men just go, I'm just going to swipe right on every single woman until I find somebody that's willing up, to go on a date with me. the demographics me. of how many people... How, like, how many males versus how many females are on uh, dating apps? Because if women are just more picky and they're women more... Women are more picky. That's one of the reasons why humans are so smart, actually. So we evolved because the females in what used to be a very, like, monkey-based society... Picky by learned literally... or by... Okay, I have a question for you. Is it learned behavior? Or is it biologically i think that biological it, behavior inhibits us a lot more than we'd like to think so how so if our parents have bipolar disorder or adhd or autism we don't think, we are most likely well, physical, to get them it's hereditary like physical attraction but wait, is we don't mostly think, biological we don't that's think mostly that's evolution. a use for variation that's why people aren't attracted United to people with fetal alcohol syndrome it's because it's literally a physical defect. <laughs> really? I yes. would argue that because I am a victim of that. You are a victim. <laughs> we, I that has but you happened don't have that face. Me. Have you looked no. at the face chart? Yes, and that face is very. There's variation. It's like big with ears it. and stuff. Are you kidding me? It just looks like Greta Thunberg, honestly. So yeah, there, men are more likely to have tried online dating as opposed to women, because men are much more lonely, but. Because men need women. Men need women, but women need men too. Women don't need men. One, women 1,000% Argue that. need men. Argue. You Argue. can get a one man to impregnate 24 women get... in two days. So I don't honestly think that men need women. We, we just, have <laughs> we just need milking sperm farms. banks now. <laughs> you realize that, right? Like we have sperm banks where we can... Women, women need men to like sustain and maintain society because most of the infrastructure is made up of mostly men. Which most gamut of, is larger? Most energy is made is up larger? by men. Most construction is made up by men. Most like Andres! infrastructure is made up well, by men. Well, women will this never be This is all man-made shit that has nothing to do with biology. Uh, no, because, because there are plenty of organisms. We are the only organisms that man made. Okay, but anything. as organisms, we as women cannot physically ever compare to a man. We'll never be stronger, faster. We will never be able to lift as much weight. I'm not weight. saying we don't need men. We that will never be I'm bigger. Saying, saying... We will never have more mass. And we will never be able to have the amount of testosterone in I think, our hearts I think we without need each exploding. Other. But I, I, that begs to differ. Like, do you think that there needs to be we complement each roles other roles in a relationship, or should it be even across? Like, you guys are just completely even across, or would you? Do you feel more comfortable in a feminine or masculine role as opposed to like the opposites? I definitely think that I would say feminine role. I mean, I'm pretty traditional as it comes and i do believe that 
if I'm going to have a child, which I do want to do in that scenario, I'm going to want to be there for my child and take care of my child and being able to be in the workforce is not going to be viable. So I'm going to need a partner who is the father of my child, which is what I am going to have for yeah. my child. Yeah. I'm not just going to adopt or anything, mm -hmm. or if I am, then that person is going to be that child's father for like the rest of their life. Then I'm going to have that child be under my care yeah. and not take three quarters of my full time income. But so I would assume that since you like to assume more of the feminine position, you want someone of the opposite nature. You want a more masculine figure. Yes. Pay for my food, raise my children with me, be the breadwinner, support me, stuff like that. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if I'm like, if I were to become a millionaire via like lottery or by luck, that's fine. I don't have a problem spending my money. My problem is the support. If I were to lose everything tomorrow, is my partner going to be able to support me? And I feel like that that role is non-gender. And I feel like that that is a protection Child care instinct. is a hard job. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a very hard job. And I don't believe child care teachers... Those workers, I don't think they get. But enough you know what? I think I think credit. biology exists because the thing is, is when you want somebody to take care of your child, most of the time you go for somebody who is feminine or at least a woman, right? Right. How many babysitters are are men? Men, yeah. Like, would you just get like you know some random dude, you know, to to go take care of your kids? If you had to have a random person to take care of your kids, would you pick a man or a woman? Woman. Are you asking me yeah, seriously? Yeah, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, if you had to like, you had to go run and get something, and like two people are coming towards you, and you have to tell them to look after your kid. There's a woman. There's a man. Which one would you go for? You have to choose one. They're both the same age. They both live in the same area. Honestly, I think either one is qualified. Dude, bullshit. Bullshit. Ain't no way. You go for that woman straight away. Little straight Betty, away. little you Betty so. with her little walker, dude. She's gonna feed your kid pudding and be like all that shit. And then like the guy's gonna be like, okay, kid, you watch ESPN. I'm gonna crack a beer open and start up the grill. So do you think that women don't necessarily have? Uh, I don't think gender matters when it when comes it comes to, to child rearing. When it comes to childbearing at all. I think that is a societal construct that has been placed upon us deliberately and forcefully. And it is something I personally also do not agree with. So if you had a child, you don't think that you would have any natural instinct more than a male counterpart or a masculine counterpart? Yeah, if I breastfeed my kid, if my if I don't, then that's my choice. But don't you think that that's like that's biology the oxytocin. No, making that preference? Here, do you do you want to speak on biology? I'll speak on biology. Because I can speak on it. I'll speak on biology. The fact is, is that uh, larger amounts of estrogen makes you a lot more aware of needs that, that a child Where is that statistic? Says. It's oxytocin, actually. It's oxytocin is the, Look up the molecule that you are looking for. It's on, oxytocin. Like, child bear. I also look up oxytocin. Or to be a good, like, But mother. isn't oxytocin also the same chemical that no. occurs when you eat food? But everyone has yes. a that's why they call and it that's comfort that's why food. both, it's equitable. Right, but it's just a comfort it's just a comfort. Yeah, chemical and both in your partners brain. can fucking possess that. Right. Does estrogen help women be better child bear or child like cares or whatever? Because I think that here, estrogen here, no, allows pull you up, to be. Pull up that. I'll read it really fast. Estrogen makes people. Estrogen makes it was. people here, very go back good. Up. At Effects of low dose estrogen. Click on it. Turn it to Okay, go back. I think it's, just look no, up. That's, that's about a special. Okay, 
if estrogen Does isn't coming estrogen up, make... then look up oxytocin because both partners, because you cannot make XY without XX. Did you know that? Yeah, that's just like the basis of how like basically the sex XX. is made. It starts yes. in one place and then... XX is the, and the only differenti- the differentian. But do you, Let don't me you tell you this, there's... because the X chromosome in general, X, just X, not XX, creates every other organ in your body. The difference is the Wolfian and the Malarian ducts. Wolfian will become Hormonal the male ducts in women, in early life and theory. Malarian ducts will become the... Wolfian ducts will become yeah, but the testicles and the penis in men. In the male, in the male to... sex, whereas in the female sex, the malarian ducts will form the placenta as well as the ovaries. So from what I understand is that estrogen allows for you to... Um, be a lot more scattered brain. You can focus on multi. I think that's why women are way are better. Are you trying at to make me fucking mad? Multitasking is way better for women as opposed to men. Men are a lot more list oriented, so that we base everything off of a uh, a function of things from one down. So it's hierarchical. But women are a lot better at like at multitasking, which makes them a lot better child bears. So look up like the effect of women being better at multitasking makes them better like mothers. Um, but you can you can attest to this, Bay. Aren't you way better at multitasking than your boyfriend? Oh, completely. Um, oh my gosh. I can probably get like 12 things done at once while he's getting four done. He'll be like, are you ready? Haven't and you ever like, tried to give like... Don't look at gender. Look up sex. Look up a bunch of... I was, God. No, that will come up with accurate... Um, gender is different than But sex. here's the thing is that like, I think that it makes a pretty big difference because children... They're creating just chaos all around them. They need this, they need that, and they need this. And estrogen allows women to fall more in line of being able to function all of these things, which makes them way better mothers. Men, on the other hand, are so hierarchically like oriented. Everything has to start from one to two, then three. It's all numerical that they end up being like not as. Are you trying good to argue fathers. bilateralization in the brain? What are you trying to argue right now? That the uh, difference in sexes contributes to the difference of hormone that each sex gets. Women end up with more estrogen. Men end up with more ma- with more testosterone. And those specific hormones essentially affect how that parent parents their child. Most of the time, so estrogen are we arguing? Allowing- but you're talking about multitasking, which. Would which is actually, a, wouldn't you agree no, which, that children you need to multitask? that would contribute to bilateralization of the brain, which males also possessed the ability of bilateralization. It's literally we, we possess the ability, but testosterone just makes it a lot harder to be able to function to be able they to think also about need less things. sleep. Now, biological that being said, men need need like biological men need less sleep, and women don't need as much sleep. Testosterone literally takes your body and makes it more able. Just gone. <laughs> I don't know if she's. I don't know if she's real pissed or fake pissed. No, she's real pissed. Can't have a podcast without a walk off, people. It's real though. It's real though. Like the uh, the tip of like uh, of gender really does provide different like hormones, and I think that's what makes the difference. That's why in everyday life, when you meet a man, you generally meet more men that are different than women. You know what I mean? I feel like you're more likely to meet people that are different, fall along these lines of more masculine versus feminine. There's a spectrum within those. You can be a masculine man. I mean, you can be a feminine man and you can be a masculine woman, right? But but for- why is it so offensive nowadays that someone would physically leave after spending hours socializing with us? Well, it's just I think that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of talk about gender today because 
there's a huge division in what we think about it now. It used to be there was two that genders. Girl is 24 years old. That is my exact age. Our yeah. birthdays are about seven days apart. So I don't really. I think what happens is, is that there's a lot of. Sometimes what I believe is a lot of propaganda that goes towards saying that 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 all these people are having issues with gender, right? Does it beg to differ? Does it does it show that our society is having issues? Are these people having legitimate issues that need to be coddled and and figured out for them, or is it more along the lines of society creating those problems? So I think that's a big. I think that's a big uh, difference between the two, and it creates this huge division between people. Now we can't have conversations, you know? Of course. I mean, literally but, uh, being, I mean, it, she was becoming more aggravated and aggravated as we were talking, and I feel like that that's the common response between... It's usually the response when it comes to it's gender. It's the response usually. But I think it's more theatrical than anything. Most most people, I feel like, can tell the difference that there are very clear differences between men and women for the most part. You do have people on the outliers that kind of um, that can kind of test that. But, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go check on her real quick, see how we're doing, and we'll see if we'll continue or not. Uh, we'll be right back. I respect the work that you guys are doing here, but also like, don't fucking. Why am I on here except to be a fucking joke? I would think you knew us were trying to take you as a joke. I know, but it's like. Come on, there are those that view the society very differently. And I know it might not be the way that you guys view it, and I see that, but that was not made clear to me. That's okay. I mean, we. I just want to make sure that you're not just going to drive off right now. No, that's I'm, my, that's my, I'm that's honestly my most fucking important pissed thing. because you just told me, you're like, if you're too emotional right now, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, no, my I said, estrogen I is said, fucking I, I asked you it, if, so. if this sensitive to if this subject's too sensitive for you, which is a happen that a thing that happens immediately yeah, all I, the time. The thing that's People irritating me is you are only acknowledging a very binary world. You are acknowledging men and women. Well, if what if what if but that the is, world is not. But that. what if somebody else has other opinions than you? I mean, that's the point of podcasts that is, is to have fine. conversations. Listen, that is okay, but then you are asking me questions that are like scientific and then I'm, I'm answering them and then you're interrupting me and saying gender and I'm like no it's biological sex. Biological uh, sex is different from I don't gender. even remember that. I don't remember like stating that at all and I don't remember you saying anything about you know I I, I, just, I don't want to be represented If you don't want to be represented on a for this podcast that is going to fucking make fun of like you guys are cherry picking things to like fit your ideal answer that is not science to fit our podcast yeah, yeah we're talking about like we're talking about our I'm opinions also not about gender on here to be made fun of is we're my not making point. fun of you i know but every time i speak all. it's a fucking joke and there's no there's no area so Jer, so jared's a third person when there he's the one he has he wasn't in any of the conversation jared do you does it feel did it feel like we were making fun of her I wouldn't say you were directly making fun of her, but you definitely talked over her a lot when she was trying to make points. Okay. I would definitely say that. All right. All right. Um, then I'll then I'll take that. I'll take that 100%. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm not trying to talk over you. It's I think just, the, it's the very biggest... hard that, like, both of you guys are taking... I, I get that both of you guys have a very... The issue is, is not that... polyamory is for everyone. God forbid. We haven't even... Have we didn't even get the start poly polygamy. But I, the problem is, is that I was trying to talk to him, and you were taking instructions from everybody. So I was trying to direct where right. the where the information shown on the TV was going to be. And I did pull up both uh, different study, trying to find one for estrogen and one for oxytocin. If you need me to read them, right? I have a direct. I am, I right. am educated in reading these. So yeah. This is my. I say I say that we restart, start what? back up at polygamy. But I just want to check in on you, Claire. Biological sex is different than gender, and like the way the conversation is going, is playing a very binary role that does not. We haven't even started the conversation. Relationships are a very intersectional aspect. Let me speak, please. Relationships affect 
more than one type of person, whether that be monogamous or polygamous, or those that identify with a different gender than the gender binary. And like making fun of that is insensitive and is not fair to those individuals. Is kind well, of the fucking plague that they have been planted, that they have gone through their entire fucking lives. I understand if you don't agree, I don't want to be a part of that. Well, if this is the fucking here's, deal. Here's the, here's the thing, Claire. I, I respect you. You have your own opinions. You can have opinions about whatever you want. But this is a comedy podcast. We're going to make fun of everybody and all then things. Then I am leaving. Things. Because that is not well, what I signed up for. I told you, listen, you ask me questions. I'm trying to answer them. You're making fun of them. You still aren't acknowledging I, I, my point of view. You're just saying, oh, I see that you're upset. I am saying that I am not comfortable with, one, I am in a relationship with multiple partners who do not identify in that gender binary. And we are also not acknowledging so then, the fact so that then those state, are different. Then state your opinion. Talk about it. There's no issue. They, I'm they trying to that. and you're interrupting me. I, I need to know... If I want to have these conversations with you, but I need to know whether if you're okay with having that conversation. Am I okay about laughing about it as if like it doesn't fucking well, affect it's, me? It's a comedy. It's a comedy podcast. People are yeah, but laugh. when people are laughing at like those that I love, it does bother me. Well, we were just talking about estrogen. We have not. We we haven't even touched yes, trans. But it's also just we been. <laughs> we haven't even touched Andres, the whole it's fucking just thing. Just in this like bashing fucking women as if women are like this fucking parasite and like let's also acknowledge that like I mean, without okay, women wait, and I wasn't bashing any women and honestly you were and I'm not commenting on you right but it is a comedy podcast and we have to make jokes we have to make light of things like, yeah this but is the thing this, that, is, this is the way that this is a very so we're gonna talk also, about this, this topic this is a sensitive topic for a lot of fucking people so if you're trying to get views but you came in here for this topic and you knew it was a comedy podcast so if we're talking about this topic we're going to make jokes that yeah. is the end all be all, and honestly, if you're not comfortable with it, I then you I can would, leave. Then I, I'm going to. One, the one thing that I like want to make clear is that like we <laughs> we are going to talk about all topics in a lighthearted mood because but it's it is not a lighthearted podcast. because this is a very if it is if I just but I would I'm, I'm respecting the monogamy I'm respecting everything else. I expect that you also respect me and respect my partners and respect women. We didn't even talk the about the two people yet. that are in. Name name one thing that we said that was disrespectful to any of those things. Name Andres was thing. asking a question that was insinuating that women are better at child rearing than men. I think that's a very and that was a topic that's of a very, discussion. That's not even that crazy topic of, a, of discussion. <laughs> was it, crazy. Why are you getting mad? I'm, I'm not, not getting mad because, you know what, you if you voice? want to raise I, your voice and talk over everybody in this room like you have been doing for the last 15 minutes, then I'll do the same exact thing. I know. Bye. Thank you. I just want to make, you can't no. drive back. back. We are back. <laughs> you know, I was just telling Bay, we can now celebrate an official podcast now that somebody has stormed out. Oh. Not hers. No, I can't drink that. That's That's whatever. Yeah. God damn it. You ruined the goddamn shot. There we go. Bah, pretend. There was actually a sip in there. So. There was actually a sip in there. <laughs> we, don't we just we're, do. We're raw. We're real. <laughs> we're raw. We're real. We're raw. We're real. We're raw. Real. Welcome raw, to Raw Real. real. We're raw XD. <laughs> That's how it feels right now, dude. I feel like a middle school. Oh my god. I feel like we just have like a fight. Like, I feel like there was just a fight in the a cafeteria fight. and I'm all like hyped up about it. I feel like she she left and said we're done. And I felt like I broke up with someone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, okay, we're done. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the great thing is like I didn't we didn't even get to the hot topics like what we can still talk about them but uh, are we going to be wrapping up are we going to continue like for real life we have 15 well, minutes until no, I have to I leave I think we're going to be kind of wrapping up I mean <laughs> the fact of the matter is is that like I don't know. I don't think the fact that women are better child rears is that crazy of a thing, is it? It was something to do with the hormones. She got really mad about the estrogen and shit. When it's actually a scientific fact that she should know as a biologist yeah. that women, it, men can hold 18 times the amount of testosterone in their heart than women. And if women had that amount of testosterone in their heart, it would explode. Considerable evidence links oxytocin with sensitive caregiving in both men and women and with stimulatory infant contact in men and affectionate infant contact in women. Testosterone, on the other hand, decreases men who become involved fathers and testosterone may interfere with aspects of paternal care. So the thing, the thing that she brought up to, to point it to be right. Yeah, you were both. That's right. when you put you put this up, and then she left. Did you notice that? Yeah. We'll just we'll just. Uh, okay, so you were both were right. She was right with the chemical. It's not necessarily all oxytocin. Well, oxytocin just makes you or, happy. Oxytocin is the yeah. same chemical released when you eat food. And if you're happy, then you're gonna be a better <laughs> like parent. literally. I mean, that's like, why they call it comfort and food. That's right. Study here that kind of says the same thing. Um, so I mean, she is right. It's not estrogen; it's oxytocin. But at the same time, testosterone shows men are, can be worse. And apparently, men lose a testosterone by being involved fathers. So yeah, like, they do because they become more feminine. They are they are exposed and to less. If they're involved fathers, they're exposed to less physical activity and like manly do regardless of that like i've never seen like a father be like oh it's a bit, a bit, a bit, and it just like being all lovey-dovey with it i've very rarely seen that but i've seen it a lot and a lot of times men are a lot less aware of what their kids are doing women are a lot better of keeping track of a wild child running all over the place right generally what i find in my own personal experience and along with the studies that suggest the higher testosterone makes you like not as good of a father the higher it goes mm -hmm. is that like fathers are a lot better for involvement for children once they start getting older this is when they start Sports. learning responsibility yeah. and structure and these are the things that generally, if you have more testosterone, you're going to be better at. I mean, this is not crazy shit. You know, this <laughs> like is you can, this is age common. old, thousands of years yeah. old and knowledge that women are better at emotions and familial constructs and food, yeah. and then men are better at structure. Which also, I mean, you can apply that to also. Why do you Just being think a chef, but they're going to be way more meticulous yeah. about it. Why you ever seen the men menu? Men are so violent and doing all these like horrible things, which generally less women do, right? Because men can't handle their emotions. Women are much more subjugated to that. Much more. Uh, not. I will admit that in society, we allow women to be a lot more emotionally vulnerable than men. Sometimes it can help to teach men more emotional maturity. But for the it vast, can. for the most part, I think there's a reason why there is uh, that there is sex and that there's and that there's a difference in hormones between the two because you need balance, especially when it comes to raising kids. You can't have two equal parents. You have two parents that are both good at like each, you know, different doing things, different things. And within yeah. that spectrum, there are people that are outliers that definitely meet the, these out, you know, that meet these other standards, such as in feminine men. There are parents out there that have a feminine father and a more masculine uh, mother and they end up working out. But I mean, you ever seen modern family? They have a gay couple and one's more feminine yeah. and one's more masculine. But you need that balance. And I think that like <coughs> just to be able to bring that up right now, that causes that causes so much tension. Uh, tension then I think we've gone wrong somewhere cuz I think we can both acknowledge that that roles can be important in a child's life. That and like commitment from both of the parents, but also the fact that there are people who don't align uh, along those, and that's okay. That's totally fine. But for 90% of the world, it works that way. 
And I just don't like this idea of thinking that like your that's, that, ideas that's the are the only yeah. ones. I don't yeah. like thinking that these ideas are minority when in fact it is the majority in the entire world. And I don't have to be a victim of your constructs of, I mean, honestly, when people start to accuse you of hand picking, <coughs> hand picking like bio biological facts. Yeah. Those people are pick hand picking biological facts. Yeah. It is everyone everyone cherry picks. Yes. To what they want to like proceed. You know, you never you know, whenever we're talking about trans people in sports, you never choose the most powerful trans person that you can find that just, just decimated everyone. <laughs> you use the example The Hulk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like you that's just like that's just how it's always been on both sides. But the fact that like to say that, like, even, like, men and women are different seems to be, like, a trigger for people, you know? And that's Which so is a wild. mental illness, yeah. by the way. The reason why I like women is because they're not a man. <laughs> why, I why would, would I never, ever, ever date a person who was a man that had a vagina. That is not if well, if sexuality that we are preference. yeah and if you we can, can have, have sexual preferences sex based preferences that's okay yes Just we can you can also have gender preferences you can be pan you can be you can do whatever the hell you want to but the minute you start denying basic sciences that's when like star stuff starts to get a little bit too fuzzy for me you know. Like, it's not fuzzy. It's the fact that they're fuzzy in the brain. <laughs> Most of these people have experienced trauma. Most of these people have been on several medications yeah. for most of their life. You think their brain chemistry isn't altered by this? I mean, if you're on hormones, I was on the Depo shot for like two years and that fucked up my body so much. It took me a year and a half to even get right. back my period. I love how like, like five years ago, people were like, you shouldn't be doing steroids. Like they're so unhealthy for you. They're going to fuck you up. And then we're just like, we should do steroids for children. And they're just like, that is the healthiest thing you can do for that child. For their gender <laughs> dysphoria. <laughs> just like pump them up full of like, I just, it's ridiculous. Like we got to, we got to start. We Protect gotta start, the children. We got to start bringing sense back into it. And the thing, the matter. The, Dollars. Yeah. Cents. The, yes. We got to bring the dollars back. <laughs> The Benjamins. You, you know that Benjamin Franklin would fucking agree with us right now. He'd be like, what the hell is going on? Anyways, we had somebody on the podcast that did not agree with us and didn't want to have a normal human conversation with actual adults that had different experiences with her. And we had a very bad time. And needless to say, she stormed nah, off of nah. the chat. She's fine. She's just. We just hope that she's safe. We just hope that she's okay. She's safe. She's we fine, and we she should get some her. better opinions. Is what she should do. We. <laughs> I'm trying to be like. Oh, I nice wish her fun. luck with her 17 boyfriends. <laughs> Stop, dude. This is the problem with comedy. People think of comedy and they think of their own version of comedy. They're like, I, that's not my comedy. <laughs> well, congratulations. There's fucking billions of people. <laughs> There's not just yourself. There's people that kind of <laughs> like everything, you know? You know how you don't like getting your dick rubbed by feet? Look around. There's a guy somewhere in that room with you. He likes feet shit. So All much right? feet shit. And that's the funny thing is that we preach, like, we preach, like, accepting. Accept this. Accept that. Accept that. And as soon as, like, it comes to accepting other opinions that we differ from, we'd rather silence them or run away from them than actually fight them on their own. And I think that's what's leading to a lot of issues, not only in the United States, but just the world around. I think if you don't like an idea, then you need to fight it head on. You know, those people are not going to disappear. Even if you think that they're bigoted, you should be able to argue with them and, and tell them why you're right. If you can't talk or tell yourself how you're right or talk to the people around you how you're right, then how are you so certain about your own you convictions? Know, convictions. That makes no sense. You should be able to put them out there and they should be able to defend themselves. But I think what happens is is that emotion ends up becoming such a huge part of it. And it makes sense. You know, these are these are close 
these are close subjects that can get to a lot of people, but inevitably you got to understand that there are billions of people. Everyone has different experiences. Everyone's different preferences and you should be able to hear them out at the very least. You know, your voice isn't the only one that should be heard. And if you think that people aren't letting you talk, maybe it's because you're not letting them talk. Dude, just shots from Bay over here. She's just pulling nothing back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think that's a pretty good uh, place to end this. Um, we're going to keep talking about dating, regardless if people want to. We're going to bring on people who disagree with us, who agree with us, you name it. Um, they can leave if they want to. I didn't even not, you know, today is like an experiment on what it means to be, gender seems to be a hot topic right now in the United States. So, uh, we're going to keep talking about, let us know, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you get every single one of our episodes. We're also on Spotify and Apple Music, you name it, we're there. Padre, our congregation, we love you. 